So I think I'll just clear up something about the relationship between Zotero and full text. Um, depending on how you get things into Zotero, whether you are pulling things in from PDF, in which case, of course, you already have the full text someplace, or whether you are bringing things in from a database, in which case you may or may not already have the full text when you bring the metadata into Zotero. A um, couple of notes about that. Number one is one of those setup things that you did when you changed the open URL resolver back in the beginning, which maybe you've forgotten all about, but if you did this, this thing that I'm going to show you, that this is why you did that. Okay, so in your list of items, you can see that there are some items that have the triangle to the left, and that often means you've, you've created a link to a PDF someplace, or there is an actual naked PDF someplace. Sometimes, like in this case, it just means that there's information that Zotero didn't know what it, to do with, and it put it in a note. I think in this case it was the table of contents to that book. But in any case, um, if it doesn't have that triangle, it, it, what it always means is that there isn't full text. There isn't a link somewhere else, and there isn't um, an actual PDF anywhere in there. So if you want to get the full, the full text of these things, here's what you do. Now, in the case of a book chapter, you're probably not going to find it, so I'm going to skip that. I'm going to do things where you're likely to find, or at least possibly going to find, PDFs. So I'm going to start with this article up here. Here's the button involved. It's this one that says Locate when you hover over it. And we're going to do a library lookup, because that's the one that's most likely going to get you that connection to full text. So it, it takes a little bit of time, and then it comes up with something. Now over here on the right, it's giving you essentially the Find It at MU interface, and it's saying check Merlin for paper copies. And over here on the left, it's going ahead and checking Merlin for paper copies. What that tells me is that there is no electronic copy, but it does at least get you along the way. It lets you know where the, the copies of the periodical that this article is in are kept if you want to get that. So no dice on that one, but you know, it does give you that information on how to find the print copy. Moving on to the next one. That's a book chapter, so hopefully you already have the book in hand. This one, okay, let's try this one. Gonna hit that same thing over here. Library lookup. This time it's gonna go out and look. Takes a little, little bit of time to, to do that lookup. And it finds it in the Academic Search Complete database and actually goes out and fetches it. Now here we have a, a PDF full text, and what I would do at this point is open that PDF and kind of download it the way you normally would. Now I'm not sure how to get rid of, oh yeah, here I'm gonna move that over so it's out of the way or you can actually X out of it. Now I'm here, I can download it the normal way save the file, put it in my all my PDFs folder in there, and then create a link from it into that, into the record that's already in Zotero. So that's one thing you can do. And then another thing that sometimes works when you're working within a library database, you already saw the method of using the little icon thingies, but here's another thing that you can do. If I go back to the home page and I go to the Articles tab. For now, I'm going to close the Terra for a minute. And I do my search. I don't have too much on my vampires and projects, so I'll, I'll do that. Um, I'm going to do just a search for social and vampire asterisks. That'll get me singular and plural. I haven't actually pre-tested this search, so I have no idea what... Okay. All right, let's pick some things from here. Say I'm, I'm in the database and I'm gonna, I could go right to that folder up there, but I think I'm gonna just show you something else again. I'm gonna add some things to the folder in here in the database itself. These are things with full text attached to them. And, yeah, I'm gonna select a couple things to put in the folder. I can go to my folder and at that point, I can do 
Yeah, it's something, it depends on, on the database that you're in. I'm going to try and export. Yeah, no, not. <laughs> I don't like that one. I'm going to go back. I'm going to do a save as file, maybe. Sometimes they give you, I'm not seeing it in this database, but sometimes you actually get an option in the database itself to add the things to Zotero. So once in a while you see that, but I'm not right now, but just know that sometimes it appears in the databases. As it is right now though, I have a couple of items here that I've got in, internally in a folder, and so now it's detecting as a folder in Zotero, so that might be actually the way to go with this one. I would click on the folder, and oddly though, oh wow, that's a new thing. It's only selecting the one. Hmm, it thinks, yeah, okay, so Zotero and the, and the folder within this database don't seem to play well together, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna escape out of that and go back to my results here and just do it kind of the normal Zotero way and um, select these couple of ones. Yeah, grab a few more of them too. And so I've selected them, I hit OK. And this database, unlike one of the databases we were working with before, the Web of Science Core Collection, this database has PDFs in it directly. So look at this. It is grabbing full text for those items that actually have full text in them, and it is saving them to my library. So that is another way that you can get full text into your library. You do have to be a little bit careful with that, though, in that um, those new things that you added there are going to be, um, or they're going to have PDFs in them, and, you know, a few of them's okay, but like I say, best practices, get the PDFs into a folder and, um, and then delete them out of Zotero is the way that, that I tend to do those things. But, and so again, the couple of ways to get PDFs into Zotero when you have an article that does not have a PDF associated with it. You can use the library lookup to hopefully get that PDF from somewhere. Yep, there's another one. At that point, you can get the PDF. Or actually, at, at this point, if you wanted, you could actually create a duplicate record in Zotero that would pull in that PDF. That's, that's another way. So if I X out of this and, and hit my, from this point, my save to Zotero. Now I've got a duplicate, and I probably want to delete it, but or delete one of them. Um, so I'm going to move that item to trash and keep the one that has the PDF on it. So that's a couple of ways to, to get at full text from Zotero itself.